College of Engineering at NC State is literally one of the largest colleges of engineering in the country. We have almost 9,000 students in engineering and computer science, and it's a very broad college in terms of the disciplines that we offer. The vision that we've developed here in the college extends beyond the classroom. The Rehab Engineering Lab uh, is a great example of an interdisciplinary endeavor. A lot of the times, the undergraduates see their topic areas in isolation. There's physics, there's chemistry, there's basic engineering. They don't seem to connect. You get the undergraduates in a lab like this, where they're really looking at how molecules help nerves fire, computational aspects that brings in the math, the physics. They begin to meld them all into a single project. So they're not just distinct disciplines that are non-overlapping and independent of each other. I design robotic exoskeletons to assist walking in healthy and impaired populations. We're looking to help people who have recovered from stroke, neurological injury as well. This facility here is great. It's one of the top facilities in the country right now. Not only do we work with patients, we work with healthy subjects as well. We do studies into different stroke conditions such as drop foot here. We even do sports science studies here. Rehabilitation really is a good way to incorporate all the fields of engineering. It's a very important and upcoming field, especially with aging generations and really giving back to our community and helping future generations live better, more prosperous lives. The Engineering Entrepreneurs Program is an alternative approach to the capstone design experience where the students actually are the founders of a startup company. They use their knowledge and skills that they've developed in engineering to come up with a product idea and assess the business opportunity. It is a very unique program. It really taught me how to think outside of the box. And it's really given us a ton of contacts and a lot of business experience. We came up with a product that you can convert the high heel to a flat. So you can walk to your meeting in your flats and then put your heels on and have that professional look. We have a lot of ideas to improve our prototype and then we're going to patent our new design and move forward with the company. So we're really excited. This space, the Entrepreneur's Garage, is actually open to all students across the university. Here the students actually do, and it has a big impact on their understanding of how to apply their engineering knowledge and skills in the broader context of the, the world and the marketplace. Our facilities are fairly unique. Within our department, we have what we call the Additive Manufacturing Lab. We have two electron beam melting machines in there. We were the first ones in the world, actually, to use this technology. Today, there might be 15 to 20 machines in the United States, and there are about 100 machines around the world. Additive manufacturing, it's a, it's a process where we take a, a computer file, a 3D model of a computer file, and we'll actually slice it up into layers and then we'll print that layer, one, or that object, one layer at a time. So we have machines that do plastics and machines that do metals. So we're taking data from a computer and printing an object directly without any sort of tools or dyes or fixtures involved. So it's just a, a, a very flexible form of manufacturing. We've been involved in prosthetics research here for quite a while. We started out working on custom design of implants like hips and knees. We have a very close collaboration with the vet school here at NC State. A lot of the work that we're doing is being used on animals at the vet school directly, but we've had uh, some uh, projects even with the human hospitals as well. It's not going to be very long before we see this type of technology showing up in the hospitals. You'll be getting scanned and having an implant made specifically for you on the spot. Our students are getting a unique experience. We can design implants, we can fabricate the implants and then actually implant them. We're giving the students a, a very good opportunity at the same time as we're part of helping a lot of people and animals. The college has set out a pretty ambitious goal. I mean, we think that, you know, we are definitely on the roll to becoming one of the premier colleges of engineering, both in the U.S. and internationally. We really desire to make very, very strong impacts in terms of the work that we do, our research and our education, uh, to the benefit of society.